Welcome again. Here we are, another little Bible reflection. I want to share with you first a beautiful experience I had on Saturday morning. The, uh, the Bible team with which I had worked in Lima for many years, and which during COVID moved into Zoom um, so they could reach more people and give a bit of help and hope and to those who were really uh, struggling under COVID. Um, they Zoomed me for my birthday and it was just beautiful. It was sentimental, emotional and everything. And I was reminded very much of a large part of the message we've been trying to share with people is the humanity of Jesus. There is a tendency, certainly in Peru, where Jesus is God and therefore didn't have any troubles or difficulties or struggles. And we've been trying to say, well, Jesus was also human and fully human and therefore struggled just as we did, or we do. And two stories came up in the Gospels this week. Um, one was when Jesus, in the last week of his life amongst us, between Palm Sunday and his passion and death, was teaching in the temple Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And he was trying to share for a last time the richness of the good news with all those pilgrims and other faithful who would be in the temple at that time of the year. And while he was teaching, he noticed coming across the courtyard a group of followers of Herod and also with them several Pharisees. And Jesus immediately thought in himself, hmm, what's this brood of vipers up to now? And sure enough, they came up to Jesus and they began with a whole palaver of praise and acknowledgement of how wonderful Jesus was and how true he was. And then they presented their trap. They said, tell us, Master, is it permitted to pay taxes to Caesar? Are we permitted? Yes or no? And Jesus, of course, immediately smells a rat. And Jesus said to them, Why do you set a trap for me, you hypocrites? Show me a coin. So they managed to pull out a denarius. And they show it to Jesus. And he says, Whose image is that there? Whose name? And they say, Caesar. And Jesus says, oh, so here you are within the temple precincts, carrying on your person the image of a false idol. That is against the law, number one. And then Jesus goes on to give them his answer, which is a great surprise to all of them. He more or less says to them, look, give to Caesar what is of Caesar's and give to God what is of God's. And they are stunned at his answer. Because I think they thought they had it all wrapped up. And they really had that gun in with this one. And Jesus doesn't even answer their question. He avoids it perfectly. And I think in a way of disdain says, look, you fellows, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is of God's. So Jesus was hassled. Jesus was annoyed. And the other one that came up a bit earlier in the week was when Jesus was confronted by a rich person, a rich man, who said, what would he have to do to gain eternal life? And Jesus says, well, these are the laws, these are the rules. And he said, I've done these all my life. Jesus looked at him and loved him. And then he made the, the great offering. He said, listen, sell what you have, give the money to the poor, and then come follow me. A beautiful invitation. And the rich man, crestfallen, 
sad, couldn't do it, and he walked away. And the Gospels tell us that he was sad, but there's no mention of how Jesus was. Just as in the temple, when he's confronted by that brood of vipers, it doesn't, they don't, the Gospels don't tell us how Jesus was. We have to imagine that. And it's the same in this one, I believe. He really offered this young man, or this man, the very best, and he couldn't take it. And so, next time you read the Gospels or hear a Gospel story, try to imagine just how Jesus was in that situation. Because quite often the Gospels don't tell us. That's not their focus. But I think to understand that man from Nazareth, and all he did and all he felt, and all he struggled with and all he rejoiced in, we look, need to look a bit behind the text and try and appreciate how he was in that situation. All right, have a great week. And don't forget our YouTube channel, will you? And we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.